Well, I can remember mm -hmm. the lieutenant, the sergeant, mm -hmm. and myself, and then the rest of us. Uh -huh. You know, well, it was a ta anti tank crew, uh -huh. but we went there with the infantry, <coughs> and we all went in. Mm -hmm. Now it said in there that in the paper it said there was two hundred some odd Germans. Yeah. They were killed mm -hmm. afterwards. I didn't see them. Mm -hmm. You didn't see any of them? No. Killed. It was just practically empty when we got there. Mm -hmm. And what I heard was that they knew we were coming and they skedaddled mm -hmm. and left that one lieutenant there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's to the best of my knowledge. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <coughs> and there was a wagon, a wagon full of white Russians, we call mm -hmm. them. Mm -hmm. and they, Poured gas on them and set them on fire. Uh -huh. <coughs> and the stink. Now, you know, you see in the movies, you see all this horrible stuff going on, but you really don't get the smell. Right. And boy, oh boy, that's something you don't forget is the smell. Uh -huh. <coughs> well, but the freight cars being full of people are rotted, it was awful. Yeah. So, did you, what was your job once you got in there? <coughs> Good. Well, we had to find, they had the 40 and 8, which is a freight car, mm -hmm. <coughs> and supposed to hold 40 men and 8 horses, and uh, they were full of, of uh, people from uh, DPs and so forth, whatever the Germans were going to get rid of. Mm -hmm. <coughs> and they were in these tanks, in these uh, cars, and we had to open up and try and find the ones that were alive. <coughs> Mm -hmm. it is. You felt proud, yeah. though, that you took part in <coughs> liberating the camp? I never looked at it being proud. I, I, it's an awful thing. That's all I remember, mm -hmm. you know. See, what the, what human beings can do to human beings is unbelievable. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, like I said, there was dead bodies everywhere. Mm -hmm. But I do remember a building. And in that building, it must have been a lab or something, uh -huh. they had all the parts of a human, okay. human body, you know, body parts everywhere in jugs and so forth. And there was people lined up <coughs> in the hallways and in front of the place, there was a, like a sidewalk and that was just all lined up with, with pe dead people. And uh, they had a couple of coffins in there which were made out of wood, <coughs> which surprised me. And I don't know why they didn't have it for everybody. And uh, they were there, and <coughs> we had to stand guard on it to keep everybody away from it that night. Me and my buddy, he was keep people away from the lab. Keep uh, keep everybody away from it. Uh -huh. Nobody was to go in it near it. Into the lab. Yeah. Is that is that the Bronze Star also? Yep. That's the Bronze Star here. <coughs> And what do you know? This is the combat infantry man's badge. You have to be on the front lines 90 days to get that. Uh huh. Can you can you face me, Mac, with that? Can you hold it? No, it's right. Yeah, and hold that with two hands. Can you put your bottom hand? Yeah, but we can see it, so we can see it like that. And, and what so what did you win the bronze star for? I don't know. Uh huh. I really don't know. Uh huh. Really, they didn't tell me. Uh huh. I don't I don't know where mm -hmm. we stopped or where we got off. Mm -hmm. But I know we went without food for a couple of days. He did. Oh, oh yeah. <coughs> we stopped at a railroad station and we broke in with a couple of freight cars and got food out of it. Wow. <coughs> and I, wow. I hated onions. Uh -huh. Hated onions, uh -huh. right? I, we come across a, a field of red onions. Uh -huh. I ate my butt off. <laughs> <laughs> and I've loved them ever since. <laughs> ever since. <laughs>